Hello there, this is John Hall from Right Here Pens and today we're going to have a look at the Sailor Kuragane. Um, it's a new pen that's been issued by Sailor to celebrate the 110th anniversary. Um, and during the review we'll show you the packaging it comes in, we'll show you the pen. And we're also going to have a look at how it writes because Sailor have said that this is a flexible nib. And as far as I know, Sailor don't, as a rule, do flexible nibs. So we'll just have a quick look and see whether it is flexible or not. But I'm sure the first thing you'd like to see is what do you get when you buy one? So we're just going to take a quick break and see you back on the table, probably. So here we have the box. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that we will actually be right testing this pen because Sailor say it has a flexible nib. And we'll have to check that out because Sailor aren't noted for flexible nibs. So we'll have a look at that towards the end of the video. But this is the box. I believe it's cedar. It's a very beautiful thing. And when we open it, we see there's a large void created, carved in it, to hold documentation. I won't get that out. And a couple of cartridges. And with all solar pens, the pen is beautifully protected. And you'll see it is black. It is very black. So what are the features? Well, it's cylindrical, as you can see. Um, it has a stop on it to prevent it from rolling off your desk, because this is a desk pen, there is no clip. There's a central band which has Sailor written on it. And I think probably also, here we go, you can see here that it says Sailor as well. And this is rather lovely anchor logo, the Sailor anchor logo, which they've used for many years now. A little bit more blonky possibly, what do we think? Anyway, there we are. Um, there are bands around it. Two appear to, I'm not sure whether they're rhodium or ruthenium, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. I think those are probably rhodium. Um, and a centre band, as I mentioned earlier. It looks as if it should be postable, but we'll check that in a moment as I take the cap off. And we'll see the cap is quite whopping, actually. And you'll be able to see that there's plenty of space for the nib in there. Absolutely plenty. There we are. I'm talking of the nib. Let's take a look at it. Because it is a new design. And it has the new logo. And it's also got Sailor 110 on it. So it's a special nib for a special 110th anniversary pen. At the far end, as you'll see, um, the knob end, it tells you which number it is. Of 1,100. Now, I talked about posting. I've got to say the pen weighs 75 grams. And no, that won't post. So the pen itself is 47 grams. Um, the rest of the weight is made up by the cap. So it's not something just to chuck in your pocket and forget by any stretch of the imagination. As with virtually all Sailor pens, it's a cartridge converter. So I'll take a look in there, a little squeak there. There we are, and it appears to be a rhodium coated, sorry, ruthenium coated um, converter as well. But it's the standard sailor converter, basically. But what's really lovely about this pen, I think, is the finish. And they say it is a new electrolytic process. Um, they say it's won't wear off, they say it's pretty much indestructible. It is a steel pen, what's underlying this is steel, but there's some sort of deposition process that gives this 
very, very deep black colour to it. And I think that's most attractive. The feel is, I don't know what to say really. It feels like steel, I think. No surprises there then. So I did say that we might have a look and see what the nib is like. So let's do that. So let's pop that there for a moment. I have a bottle of our trusty Sailor Gentle black ink. Just going to take this out of the way a bit so I can bring in some paper. And then we'll just have a very gentle little write with it. Here we are. Another sheet of paper. Here we are. This is my Irish paper. It's a nice paper with fountain pens. Um, often a little toothy, actually. So let's just see what what happens with this. So we get the pen. And just dip it. And here we are. That's interesting already. Kurgane. An interesting size nib. I'm not sure whether that's a little bit bigger than the standard 21 karat nib. It's certainly nowhere close to the size of the King of Pen nib. Nothing like. But how does it feel? You can hear the feedback there, and I don't know whether this is the paper or the pen. It's it's feedback. It feels really good, actually. Um, this is a pen I like the look of, and I actually quite like the feel of. As you can see, it sits quite comfortably in my hand. The balance is good. It's neither particularly front or back, back heavy, um, and the nib. That's no pressure. That's modest, moderate pressure. I've got to say, it's got a really good feel to it. And yes, there is a bit of flex there, isn't there? You can certainly get some line variation out of it. Um, but it doesn't feel in the least bit flaky. It feels as if you could use this all day long and you could probably push the flex a little bit and you're not going to have a problem, I don't think. It's really a very nice nib indeed. Um, Let's try writing something else. Well, it certainly writes fairly well and surprisingly spells quite well with me involved. Um, my handwriting is, as those of you who have seen previous videos will attest to, is not the greatest. So, yeah, I like this. Now, it's obviously a special edition. It's probably not the most practical pen in the world, um, but it's certainly a pen that I would quite like to have in my collection. I think the looks are absolutely striking, quite extraordinary, not like anything else I've ever seen from Sailor. Um, it's certainly a superb pen to celebrate an anniversary, actually. 110th, 10th, whatever. I think that's absolutely brilliant. It's comfortable in the hand. Um, just checking that there's no, absolutely no issues at all with the threading there. As I say, it's not the sort of thing you're going to bung in your pocket and wander off to work, partly because there's no clip and partly because it's um, about 75 grams worth. It's a, it's a weighty little mother. So there we go. But a pen I really like. So there's the Sailor Kurugane Anniversary Edition. I'm John Hall and this is Right Here Pens.